Barely two days after the official ban on motorcycles and tricycles began, the riders and the police have a clash. And as the number of Supreme Court judges dropped to 13, the Nigerian Bar Association voices concern that the Apex Court is being overworked. This is PLOS Politics and I am Felicity Ezewike. You're welcome to the program. Now, drivers and riders might not be taking the Lagos State ban on motorcycles and tricycles. We know them as Keke and Okada in local parlance. Today, there was a clash between the suspected riders and policemen. The clash occurred after the security operatives tried to stop the riders who had been protesting the ban and were calling for his suspension in five local council areas of the state. The riders lamented that the ban was taking away their means of livelihood. Joining me to have a conversation on this are two uh, very distinguished uh, guests. Uh, we will start with Leonard Ebute. Thank you very much for joining us, your Thanks. political analyst. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and of course, we have Josephine Odipo, our legal practitioner. Thank you very much for joining Thank you us. For having me. All right. Serious issue. They were protest that we're going to start this conversation on that premise. They are protesting. They're hoping that the government will, you know, take a back step. Let me start with you. What is your reaction to this protest over the ban? I mean, so I believe that when people are, feel aggrieved, they have a right to protest and do so peacefully. So the protest in itself is um, it's a measure of public sentiment as it relates to that policy. Um, if you were to ask me um, about the policy itself as I see it, um, I, consider, I consider it a lazy way of solving the problem they set out to solve. Why is it uh, a lazy way? Because I look to the explanation for a policy to draw inference as to the heart of the policy maker. So for example, when they said, um, you know, they visited the hospitals, they saw a lot of casualties, and it became obvious to them that they had to do something about Okada, and what they chose to do was to ban it. For God's sake, um, the numbers don't support that. 25 to 36 maximum percent of accidents are caused by Okada. So, why not ban the 64% caused by cars and save 64% of casualty cases? Why look to Okada? Um, there is school bombing in the US, therefore take away the schools. Oh, we have air crash, take away the planes. It doesn't solve the problem. Okada exists because there is a real business case for its existence. Investment bankers bet on max.ng, bet on Gokada, bet millions of dollars on um, O-Ride or something like that. Because there is genuine business case for the existence of that service. People actually are served in a value-adding way for profit. Okay, we'll get to the, you know, the business aspect of it if we have enough time, of course. Uh, but let's uh, take your reaction before we continue. Well, I was mentioned that as far back as 2018, the Lagos State Government came up with uh, um, a law, a transport sector reform law, 2018. Agnor Governor Shawolu signed it in 2019. This law established 64 different offenses. And Okada, ride, Okada, Okada was targeted in this law. And they were banned in over 400 different routes in Lagos State. Now, my take is this. Government has taken this decision. It is very unpopular. It is occasioning, occasioning hardship among the citizens. People are not happy. People are voicing out their concerns, but we must look at the reasons why government has decided to take these steps. If you look at the rate of Okada accident, there was a time in Igbo General Hospital, there was a ward that was famously uh, nicknamed the Okada ward as a result of these devastating accidents. 
that the most motorcyclists have caused commuters. That is one. Secondly, Okada have been known to flout laws. They drive against traffic. They, they risk vehicular movement. They, use, they risk human lives. They have been known to have been used to perpetrate crimes. Well, the, 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 the argument being put forward is there are cadres and there are those who are trying to refine yes, the process. I'm to... coming to that. Okay. I believe that the government has, I will agree with Leonard, that they try to solve a problem with a simple solution. The solution is not enough. You need to address some, some motorcycles that are serving the business community that are obeying your, your laws. For example, the Gokada, the OPE Kada and the rest, they don't, they don't go against traffic, they use traffic helmets. Some bikes are being used as dispatch riders. Those ones you can regulate. But the ones that are meandering and get, getting into every nook and cranny used to perpetrate crimes, those who you can get rid of because they have made it a point of duty that whenever a law is made, what they, what they do, when we were in, uh, undergraduate in the, in the university, one of our exam questions was, there is a new law in Nigeria. Now find a way for that law to be broken. We discover that what Nigerians do, I'm not saying generality of Nigerian population, is that if they say law, they will, what they think about is, how do I circumvent this law? so that I can get my way and let it be business as usual. Well, anyway, I was going to take you on, on the aspect of um, you give the ones that uh, you know, made themselves a little more um, regulated than the general Okada as we know it. And when we say Okada, we are referring to uh, motorcycles at this point. So let's um, not get it confused. That's what we call it here um, in Nigeria. Well, let's go back to that protest. Do you see it achieving its purpose? Do you see more coming? And will it be enough to compel the government to maybe adjust its strategy? You see, um, masses led protests in Nigeria, unless there is a level of elite consensus, is typically just a way to vent. You're going to hear that a few people got shot, got killed, and then it will blow over because two reasons. These people do not have the wherewithal to sustain a protest for any length of time. And this is why even though cars cause more accidents than bikes, the government is targeting the bikes because they cannot target the category of society that drive cars. Those ones can sustain reasonable protests for as long as they want. Yeah, this, and so you're, there, what you're saying is, now it, sort I'm of saying gives the policy, the the policy it, is discriminatory. It, it, it's, it, it sort of gives credence to the argument that it's more for optics, for aesthetics. That's why they are doing this, other than the accident, the rate of accident that has been pushed forward. It, it cannot be the rate of accident because, by every shade of analysis, cars cause more accidents. But we're not talking cars here. Bikes for, cent for, for years are safe means of transportation and remain so in nearly every country in the world. Nigeria is no exception to the use of bikes. Nigerians don't even use more bikes than many parts of the world. Why can we create a, a way to enforce safe riding? Yes, we can. Can we put barriers between bikes and cars on the same highways? Yes, we can. Can we ensure that the regulated providers sort of assimilate the unregulated people so that we create a wider tax net to capture these guys? Yes, we can. Um, Why are we taking the really easy... Isn't that too idealistic when you're saying you no. can create lanes for uh, motorcycles? It, it, it exists get... exist in Benin Republic here. Uh, we we, not not we have BRT lanes roads. in Lagos. Yes, and BRT well, lanes we, we take like three times to, Is that Should that space. be a priority? It has to be a priority, particularly in Lagos, where, in fact, more movements happen by bikes and keke than those by cars and buses. So what is the government's palliative measure? 65 buses. That Joseph, will move how many that, That's where I'm going to bring you in now. Yeah, the, the, are, you, are you more worried about the um, ban or the lack of palliatives? Because some arguments are being put forward that the ban itself might not be as bad as it's being presented, mm. but for the lack of adequate preparation for, you know, to... Uh, 
cushion I'm, the I'm more, I'm more worried about the palliative because I think before the government uh, came out, they, this law has been in existence since 2018, or maybe it became in force in 2019. But before the government came out to decide that we are going to ban Okada entirely, they should have made provisions. For I, I read in the newspaper of a gentleman that complained about a papa, for example. He said the roads there are unmotorable. That the only way for them to get to work is via this Okada and Keke. And if government bans it, how are they going to get to their place of work? These are the things that government should have put in place. I understand why they have to take this measure they have taken, security-wise as well as the issue of human life and safety. These are very important, and the government has taken the decision. It may be unpopular. Sometimes government has the responsibility to take a decision for the general well-being of the entire population. Well, when you say general well-being, I worry because when you, this is, we're not talking about 10,000, we're not talking about 15,000, we're not talking about 2 million, we're not talking about 5 million people, you know, that this um, um, service is provided for. Yes. And the people that are providing this service are gamefully employed. I, I was watching a, a short clip before this program of a young girl who just did her ND, that's her national diploma, who is a go uh, rider. And she is saying she makes like 20,000 naira a day. It might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but we know that's a possibility in a busy hub like Lagos. Now, that go provides palliatives for those unemployed youth and we know that there are very many of them so isn't the government in trying to um uh, what, what would, I, would i use now seek for the um, to curb crime and um, reduce the rate of accident create even more crime because of the unemployed men situation that may arise yeah so first of all i, I say i'm um, uh, my background is economics right and it just doesn't make sense to even link, right, crime rate to Okada. Because for every crime committed by a bike, much more is committed in a car. For every accident an Okada has, three happened in a car. So where should we be solving the problem from? It doesn't come up, it doesn't add up, the maths don't add up. Secondly, when you issue someone, right, a rider's license, you have authorized that person. You are certifying that that person is fit to ride, and he has legal right to ride, and that's a federal law, right? I know. So, so there is the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and then there is Lagos law, right? Now, the Lagos law just got signed into law like you observed, right? But... $13 million of investment came into this state last year alone towards this project, right? Those investments have not run their, their Serie A and Serie B investments. They have not run their course at all. And they came in because people did the numbers, did the need analysis, tried the business case, proved the business case, and put money there. These are Nigerians running these projects, okay. right? So, the, 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 what I'm trying to say is this. Apart from the fact that it is unattractive uh, and it is unpopular with the masses, the, to the business community, these ICT unicorns that are potentially going to be built around this kind of investments, it, it just doesn't make any sense. You want to say can something? We not, can we not say it? Okay. Uh -huh. Perhaps the state government has not given us Yes, the whole reason of why they have No, they were this. asked about this particular maybe, reason and the government's the response. Right now, the response well, let, let, me, let me help. Let me, okay. let me come in. The, the, the government was asked this same question mm -hmm. um, about uh, the allegation that um, um, if they take out Okada, it will increase crime. They said, no, this will not happen. Apparently, they've done some background. They are saying that Okada, uh, on the other hand, is what is being used to increase crime and terrorism because some of the robbery that we seem to have they said is attributed to the use of Okada. There was a news story that I read although I have not been able to verify it about how a group of Okada riders went to a local government in local uh, LCD in Lagos State. They broke in, they vandalized all the vehicles in that local government 
they rescued Okada as they were seized. Then they, they, they took, they stole uh, sewing machines, and then they set the LCDA on fire. This happened as at, this story is supposed to have happened as at the uh, 9th of January, 2020. Mm. You know, that's a clear example of why, perhaps, why the, the government is thinking this, this is time for us to regulate this business. First of all, we start by banning. Then we want to know who is who. I'm not a government apologist. I don't work for Lagos State Government. I run a private law firm. I'm not speaking for, no government official has told me to say this. I'm just saying, does it not make sense? If it doesn't make economic sense, does it make security sense? For you to at least know. Because I know in some other parts of the country, Okadas were banned. And before you can say what is happening, they were all coming down to Lagos. We don't know who is riding this Okada, where they are going to, what, what their missions are. Okay, you, you've both been able to establish your position. You think that it's an unpopular uh, decision, but good. You say you don't see the sense yeah, in this. And, so and, and let me add a dimension to that. Mm. So first of all, it's, it's important to note that um, the Okada, the existence of Okada itself is first of all a failure of the mass transit system. That's true. There is no better alternative, that's why people take it. I work, I, I have an Uber app that I use for my business and I, I have vehicles, but I, I, I take Okada to work on a Monday because I know the road will be, will, be, will, be, will, be, will be congested, okay? So there is a status quo that made Okada thrive. Nothing has happened to change that status quo. The removal of Okada will merely show up, and we all saw today, I left the house at 7, I got to work by 11, I left to come to this place by, I had a meeting, I would have missed this disappointment, I had a meeting at Lekki and I left the office by 1, I got to Lekki by 5. So you stayed from on Ikoi the here. road to yes. get to that point. Yes. Okay. You, and you, this, you is, say, this is you, a manifestation. There okay. is a, a pre-existing condition yeah, you, that made Okada necessary. You've established the fact that you are mm. unhappy with this decision. Um, so I'm going to come to you first when I ask, what options are there? If, whether we like it or not, the government has said this is what they want to do. And it doesn't look like from the indices we're seeing protests, you even alluded to the fact that there's a likelihood that the government will not, you know, renege on its decision to ban Okada. So what would be your solution for a way forward? My, my solution is, like I said in the last show, you see a responsible government, a democratically elected government is a representative government. And it has to listen. There is no such thing as the government has said it, therefore, if the, the, the policy is tested, like we saw today, if the thing, the situation that we saw today persists for two days, a responsible government should rethink. Because as at that point, it stops being the business of the core practitioners of the Okada business. It becomes all of our problems when we cannot move. And if you cannot move in a city like Lagos, the economy is grounded. So, 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 if, so, if, so if, they, if, they had, if they had, for instance, yes. um, done this thing in stages. Yes. Let's look at it from that angle. Yes. The government has, okay, let's say the whole of Etiosa for this month, mm. uh, we will not have Okada and bikes. But mm. before we take them out, these vehicles will be running this direction and that direction and all of that. that and then the maybe process. the next two months, they try this one out and then they move to another location. Um, would that have been preferable for you? Without the sword of Demoku called a ban hanging on everybody's heads, if you provide better, quicker means of transportation, nobody wants to take the risk of being on a two-wheeler. So. How you get this out of the way is exactly how Molue disappeared from Lagos. We were provided with better alternatives. They didn't ban Molue. We were provided with better alternatives in most of the routes, and they generally just disappeared. The downfalls we have today are not the same downfalls we used to have. They are neater, they are better because Uber came along, taxis are now behaving. So what you do is you provide better, more competitive alternatives, and then the subsisting status quo that you want to take away, you take away. But there is no alternative that we know of. Okay, let's, let's bring uh, Josephine in. And um, you seem to be um, 
um, I mean, in support of this palliative, uh, um, this uh, ban at the moment. So I'm just going to ask you straight up. They are saying they're running, is it about 65 buses? Um, where did I put that? I think they're rolling out about uh, 550 more buses are on the way. At the moment, 60 something buses have been released starting today. And uh, they're going to bring in ferries and all of that. For you, is that palliative enough? I, to make the whole process manageable. I think they should also consider all the registered uh, corporate uh, transport business like the GoCadas, the OPEs, regulate them. They should let them, they should let them, because those organizations are actually providing jobs for a lot of young Nigerians and they are helping people to be able to maintain their household. And I think those ones are how should I say? They'll get sense for head. No, they will okay. not behave in the way um, that... I, I, I won't end this conversation without bringing up the issue of... Um, um, okay, let me take the issue of Son Wolu before the... Um, before the before he was elected, when he was campaigning, there was a conversation that has gone has been brought out again and is now viral on social media where he said he was going to partner with the likes of Gokada and Marx to transform the system of transportation in Lagos State. People are seeing that as a complete opposite to what he is doing. Is, is that your opinion as well? Yes, that's a way forward to say, I'll take the improvement that has been brought, the technology, the visibility, and the viability tests that have come through this new investment in GoCada, uh, GoRide, and uh, Max.ng and Co. And I am going to build a structure around it until I find a safer solution. That should have worked. And that is or was his campaign promise. And it made sense. And he got a lot of votes for it. In fact, in his inner circles, we are aware that there was a plan to even, first of all, begin an assimilation of the random Okada uh, whatever, into these new groupings so that at least there is visibility So what, what is wrong? I, you see, that when you do things like this that don't make sense to me economically, then it makes sense to me economically. I begin to get a sense that maybe the government or some crony of the government is about to float a business in that area shortly after the ban is lifted, after the current practitioners have been crippled by virtue of this ban. When it doesn't make economic sense, I look for an alternate sense. And that's, that's the story of Nigeria. And so those of us that are business minded, we're wondering if this does not make political sense, doesn't make social sense, doesn't make economic sense, what sense does it then make? There has to be something that you're not telling us. And that worries me personally. I think we both agree on that. Mm. I have speculated, and I understand what happens when a politician make campaign promises, and then after election, something happens. Maybe he he gets more information that he got he had, he received during campaign that made him to make a decision that is contrary to the promises he made. So maybe at the end of the day, before you know it, this decision of his makes sense. All right, um, um, I'm, I'm being told we should wrap up, but I wouldn't let go without this uh, question from the Guardian newspaper about something that happened in Ajegunle. I don't think Ajegunle is included in the banned area, but there are reports coming in that some policemen are harassing uh, bike riders um, in that environment. Um, does this worry you that there's a likelihood of an um, escalation that the police um, will begin to show some of these essences that has worried us over time. Yeah, I mean, the overzealousness of the security apparatuses in Nigeria has been with us for some time. And look at where it's starting from. Ajegunle, of course, where the victims are, where it's easy to get away with it. So we'll, what, what, should be, what should be the immediate response of government at this time? Accountability. It is a crime to harass a citizen for something that isn't a crime. So, I mean, they, uh, in other crimes by now, you'll also hear that a few of the officers had been arrested. You see press statements by the Nigerian police distancing themselves from all that. But have we seen any of those? Because uh, we, we, we're dog eating dog. That's the kind of environment that this country is beginning, particularly if you're lower down the ladder, then you are easy fisting. Your final thoughts in 30 seconds, please. Um, Nigerian police should just take it easy. 
you shouldn't go on the errands you were not sent to do. Okay. Um, I guess that's where we'll pause for this uh, session of the conversation here on Plus Politics. Uh, we'll go for a short break, and when we return, um, we'll be taking on another issue. Do stay with us.